All right, let's see if I can wrap up this set. So. Hopefully this will be the last installment on this Admiral set. It's so close to being done. So what's left? Uh, one, I want to clean up this cover a bit and reinstall it. That goes over the high voltage cage. I did restuff that capacitor up in there, cut it open. I want to pull the insides out of the can and then I uh, picked up some foil tape. And I'm going to reattach it with that. <clears throat> okay, let's see if I can wrap up this set. Uh, what's <clears throat> So here's that other chassis. This has L stamped all over it, so I think this is an earlier version. And I noticed the vertical output transformer looks quite a bit different. But as for the vertical oscillator transformer, it has Phillips screw head screws on it, so I think the other one, uh, those screws are original. This one has a part number on it though. It sure looks like the other one, but this definitely has the Admiral part number 79A18-1, so I think I will still proceed with the plan to swap them out. I popped the vertical output tube out of the set, powered it up. And nope, no difference whatsoever. Still got a curve. So that rules out the yoke. Got some comments that maybe the yoke was an issue. Nope, because now that output load is no longer connected. So all this stuff out of the circuit. Got to be something over here. Well. I replaced everything, including the mica caps, including the new film caps I'd put in place. I just sort of tacked in uh, these new Illinois capacitors and uh, these new mica caps. It made no difference whatsoever. So, <laughs> uh, the only thing I've got left is that transformer. So, I am going to pop it out. Here are both of the transformers. This is the one I took out of the other set. With part number 79A18-1. Well, when I took this one out, it turns out that there is a part number on it. It's just in a different place. 79A18-1, so they are the same parts. And I think that this is the original. Uh, but anyways, uh, I will pop this one in. And see if it makes any difference. So here it is with the swapped out transformer, and wouldn't you know it, no difference whatsoever. So uh, I'm out of ideas <laughs> uh, other than to get my other chassis up here on the workbench and uh, put this transformer back into it, fire that set up and observe the waveforms that it's producing and then maybe compare the two, you know, I'll jot down all the voltages and waveforms between the two sets and see if I can make any sense out of this.